In this video, we're going to be talking about nomenclature of alkenes. In organic chemistry, each and every compound has a specific name. And in this video, we'll be talking about these names. Let's start with the names of the alkenes. So, first of all, if you have unbranched alkenes, if you have linear alkenes, what you need to do to name it is just to learn these pen verbs. If you have only one carbon atom, it's called methane, two carbon atoms, it is called ethane, three carbon atoms, propane, and so on. However, in many of the cases, you don't have a linear carbon chain only, but you have some branches. These branches might be made up of carbon atoms. For example, this is methane molecule. If you want to add this methane molecule as it is, you cannot add anywhere because it's already making this carbon atom is already making one, two, three, four connections. However, if it loses, if, it, if this alkene loses one hydrogen atom like this, now in this case you can add it to somewhere, to some other carbon atom. Now, at the beginning the compound was an alkene. When you take one hydrogen out from an alkene, what you get is called an alkyl group. A similar thing happens with ethane. So, this is our ethane, and you, take, you cannot add this one anywhere because both carbon atoms are making four connections. But if you take one hydrogen out, this ethane molecule becomes an ethyl group, which could be added to somewhere. So, in addition to these alkyl groups, you can also add some halogens to the carbon chains as well. Chlorine becomes chloro in the nomenclature, and bromine becomes bromo. Now let's see the rules. The first rule says that we need to determine the parent name. Parent name comes from the longest continuous carbon chain. For example, if you have a chain like this, obviously the parent name is going to be butane. If you have one carbon atom in here, the parent name is not going to change because the longest chain still is 1, 2, 3, 4. Or if you start from here, 1, 2, 3, 4. Still four carbon atoms, so the parent name is still butane. I'm adding one more carbon atom in here, it's still butane. I'm adding one more carbon atom here, it's still butane, because it's still one, two, three, four. You cannot find that longer chain. One, two, three, four. But if you add, for example, one more carbon atom, let's say, to this one, then in that case, your main chain becomes this one. Longest continuous carbon chain contains one, two, three, four, five carbon atoms. So the parent name this time becomes a pentane. What about these one, two, three carbon atoms? They are our substituents, branches. If you write the hydrogen atoms, you're gonna see that this is making one connection, so this is a CH3 group. These actually, all these carbon atoms actually are methyl groups. So, first rule says determine the parent name. We have determined that. But determination of the parent name is sometimes not enough. Think about this one. You have three carbon atoms, all single bonds, so it is propane. Now, if you say that you have a chlorine in here, okay, it's going to be chloropropane. Chloropropane. Fine. But if you try to name this one, this compound, this is again propane because you have three carbon atoms, and you have chlorine, so it's going to be again chloropropane. This is chloropropane, that's chloropropane. But are they the same compounds? They're not. Because in here chlorine is attached to the first carbon atom, in here it is attached to the second carbon atom in the middle. So in such a case, we need to use numbers. When we are using these numbers, we need to pay attention to the Substituted carbon atom. Substituted carbon atom should be given the smallest possible number. So, this is my substituted carbon atom. So, if I start from the left hand side, it's gonna be 1, 2, 3. If you start from right hand side, it's gonna be 1, 2, 3. But I want these to have smallest number, so it's gonna be 1. So, 1, 2, 3. So, the name of this compound will be 1 chloropropane. In this case, my chlorine is, if you start on the left hand side, it's going to be 1, 2, 3. If you start from right hand side, it's going to be 1, 2, 3. It doesn't matter, it's on the second carbon atom, so the name of this compound is 2-chloropropane. 
If you have your chlorine on this carbon atom, okay, you again have one, two, three carbon atoms. It still is propane, uh, but this time the important carbon atom for us is this one because it is the substituted one. So then I'll need to start numbering from here. One, two, three. So it still is one chloropropane. It actually is the same thing with the first one. You just you just rotated the molecule. So in some cases we need to use prefixes as well. This is the case when we have more than one same kind of branch. For example, let's continue with the same thing. So let's say that we have propane, three carbon atoms. I have one chlorine in here and another chlorine in here. Then in this case, when we are naming this one, it's still propane. Let's write this time. Uh, but I have one chlorine and another chlorine. When you have two of the same thing, the prefix is going to be di. When you have three of it, it's going to be a tree. When you have four, it's going to be tetra. I think this is enough for us. So this is going to be chloropropane. Chloropropane. But since I have two chlorines, it's going to be dichloropropane. But actually, this is not enough. Why? Because I don't know where my chlorines are. One of them is on the one, two, three. One of them is on the first carbon atom. Sec other one is on the second carbon atom. So I'm going to say one, two, dichloropropane. So between numbers, I'm using get comma. Between number and letter, where I'm using get dash. And finally, the last rule. It says follow the alphabetical order. So if you have more than one branches, when you're mentioning about them, you need to follow the alphabetical order. For example, if you have methyl group attached, bromine attached, and chlorine attached, you first need to mention about bromine, then chlorine, then methyl group. Let's have such a chain. Carbon, 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 carbon. So I want to have a bromine in here, then one chlorine maybe in here, and one methyl group in here. Okay, let's try to name this compound. Now, First of all, you need to determine the parent name. You have one, two, three, four carbon atoms, so the parent name is butane. Then, you need to number the carbon atoms. When you start from the left hand side, numbers are going to be one, two, three, and four. One, two, four. If you start from the right hand side, it's going to be one, two, three, four. You need to choose the smallest combination. Which one is smaller? One, two, four, or one, Three, four. Of course, one, two, four is smaller, so I will be choosing that one. Then, I am going to be looking at the alphabetical order. So I will mention about bromine first. It's on the fourth position, so I say four, bromo. Then on the first one, I have chlorine, one, chloro. And on the second position, I have methyl, so two methyl butane. Four bromo, one chloro, two methyl butane is the correct name for this compound. That's all for today. Goodbye.